And welcome. I am Annette Reader from the biblicalnutritionist.com and I get to share with you another grocery discovery. And in these discoveries, we discover all of the foods that are part of God's recipe for excellent health. And today, even though it's cold outside, we're going to go inside and find a warm vegetable. This is a very important vegetable if you have men in your life because they need to know what I've got to teach you. Also, if you want to avoid cancer, if you want to stay young, this vegetable is for you. It's so warm and creamy. You're going to love it. Before we go inside, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and the bell, and then share this video with three of your friends. Well, today it's all about acorn squash, yet what I'm teaching you can also be applied to the butternut squash and the spaghetti squash. So these vegetables, they are so delicious and they're perfect in the fall and the winter for us to enjoy because they store well in your home. So you could stock up on them. It's a great prepper food. Yet if you are a man listening to this, you need to pay attention. These squash, specifically the acorn and the butternut, help to reduce the swelling in the prostate. This is so important for men as they age, they have this issue, and we can actually help use these squash to help reduce that inflammation. As I've been teaching you about the other vegetables throughout this entire nice produce stand here at Tom Leonard's, they're all gonna give you the vitamin C. Yet when you have the orange flesh, like you do in the acorn and the butternut squash, you're gonna get a higher dose of beta carotene, another level of protection for your body. Now here's the thing I really want you to catch. When we eat vegetables like this, which I'm gonna take you to my kitchen and show you how to roast these up in such a delicious way, but as we eat these vegetables, you actually have a decreased amount of pain and inflammation. So yeah, if arthritis or any of the quote itises have been affecting you or someone in your family, then why not serve them some of the acorn squash or the butternut squash at their next dinner? Now, many of you are like, Annette, you teach us so many foods, we can't get them in every day of the week. I get that, it can be overwhelming. So maybe you would have this a couple times a month. You could grill up some squash, add that to your dinner table, and just know that you're treating your family well. Now these vegetables are gonna give you a good dose of vitamin A. They're gonna give you carbohydrates that are gonna give you energy. They're not gonna be a carbohydrate that gets a bad label by some people who are out there. They're also gonna help with your immune system. Now, here's what I also want you to pay attention to. These vegetables are really good to help heal and prevent problems in your digestive tract. They're gonna help prevent any type of bacterial overgrowth, such as in the bad bacteria. And for people who have respiratory issues, these would be vegetables that you want to pay attention to. So think about all of these reasons that I just listed for you to enjoy some acorn squash today. Now join me as we go to the kitchen and grill these up. Such a fast dish. You may think, oh, that's going to take too long. No, this is a very quick fix and you can enjoy it right away and just really know you're serving your family well and you're serving them God's recipe for excellent health. Now that we're in the kitchen, we can start cooking these squash. We've got the butternut and we've got the acorn squash. In the comments down below, which one of these have you already cooked with and which one have you not? I look forward to reading your comments. Now we're gonna make the butternut squash two different ways. And I just really believe these are gonna be a surprise to you. Starting with the acorn squash, we're going to just do it simple. We're just going to cut it straight down the middle. I leave the stem on. I like to make sure we're not gonna lose any of the juice or the nutrients while it's baking. You could definitely cut off the ends. Make sure you have a good strong knife to do this. And you have some muscle that would be helpful too. That's why you cut off the, <laughs> that stem to make it easier to do that. So now I have both the acorn squash cut in half and I cut the butternut squash. If you're not used to cutting these in half, start with it standing upright, start at the top and go straight down. If it's laying down, it's just too hard to do. So now we've done that and I've also taken out all of the seeds. You could save the seeds and dry them and plant them or you could roast them and enjoy a delicious snack. Now I've already prepared my pan. I have sprayed it with some olive oil. 
I do use this one from Walmart pretty often because it's organic and it has the olive oil spray, just easy to use. If you just have regular olive oil in a bottle, just pour it out and use a paper towel to spread it around. And if you are a frugal cook, you don't really need to use the aluminum foil. It just helps with cleanup. I also sprayed the butternut squash with some olive oil, and I'm gonna bake this cut side down. That gives it a more crisp flavor, more of a roasted as opposed to a steamed. Now we have the acorn squash, and I've done the same thing. I've sprayed them with some olive oil, and two of those I'm going to cook side down. And then the other one I'm going to cook side up. And we're going to put some butter and some maple syrup in that. This half of the butternut squash I'm going to actually dice up and we're going to season it and cook it on the other end of the tray. For one of the acorn squashes we're going to bake it just like this and we're going to sprinkle it with some cumin and some chili powder. And the other one we're going to make it more of a sweet flavor. So we've got that. Now we're just gonna top it off with some chili powder. Two of my very favorite spices. And that's just gonna give us a delicious flavor and it's gonna smell really good while we're cooking too. Now the other two halves, we're gonna put just a teaspoon, maybe one and a half teaspoons of butter and just a drop or two of some maple syrup. And we're just gonna let that bake into the squash while it's roasting. There we go. So we've got our butter and our maple syrup and we're gonna roast those like that. So that's our two varieties of our acorn squash. Now for the other variety of the butternut squash, we're gonna go ahead and peel it. Make sure you've got a good strong peeler. And I want you to notice the color differences when you peel it. Think of it like an orange. So you have, you have the peeling, then you have a little bit of white, and then you have yellow but not until you get to the orange are you truly at the butternut squash. So if you really want to wow your guests with the best flavor, you would take it all the way down to the orange. You would go ahead and peel it until you have the bright orange. There we go, see how that's such a difference? So that's what I wanna peel it and then we'll dice it. For these chunks of butternut squash, I can go ahead and use my spray olive oil and just coat them with that or you could just take your olive oil straight out of the bottle and just put a tablespoon of olive oil on the tray and just coat them with that. Then we're going to add just a little bit of salt because we want the flavor to really get infused while they bake. So I'm putting the real salt on them. Notice I didn't salt anything else because we're gonna salt those afterwards. Real salt is my favorite brand of salt. I'll put a link to that down below. It has all of the minerals that God designed in the salt, so we get the benefit of all of his creation. So sprinkling with chili powder with some cumin, and that is gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna bake this in the oven. So I'm going to take one of these acorns, acorn squashes, and I'm gonna chop it up and put it in with my brisket. So I'll show you some pictures of that as I do it. So here is my beef brisket. I'm adding the acorn squash with the peeling on and just in like apple slices. And then I went ahead and took some of the butternut squash off the tray and put them in here as well. They're gonna bake together and this is gonna be a complete dinner. Oh, can't wait for you to join me. Okay, so these are all baked and you can see they're nice and tender. Now we're gonna do a fun twist with our butternut squash. We're actually going to scoop it out. See how nicely that scoops out? We're gonna put it in our blender. It's almost like ice cream, the way it scoops out like that. And I want, to, I want to leave the shell so we can use that as our serving dish. But I want to get as much of the pulp out as I can without messing up my shell. And it's really hot because I just took it out of the oven. So I would just keep doing this until I have all of it out. Now to this, we're going to add some salt. Just a little bit of salt. And then, this is the surprise, we're going to add in some cheddar cheese. So I've got some freshly grated cheddar cheese. We're gonna add this in and we're going to mix it up. And then we're gonna scoop it back into our shell. There we go. I just love, I don't know if you have one of these immersion blenders that actually has the food processor with it. It's just so small and convenient. I use it all the time.
Okay, so I mixed all of that up and you could add a dash of pepper as well. I'm just gonna take the middle section out and then we would put it right back into our shell and our shell becomes our serving dish. So if I had used both of my butternut squash for doing it this way, instead of dividing it up to show you different ways, it would have been perfect for serving probably about four people. Figure a half of a butternut squash per person and shape that up and then just decorate it with maybe some, some red peppers would be nice as a decoration. And there we have it. So I would just bake this a little bit longer just to get it nice and warm when I'm ready to serve it. Maybe put it in the broiler for maybe, you know, a minute and that would be perfect. Well, here we have our finished product. So we have the acorn squash. This is the one with the chili powder and the cumin. You could just serve it as is. I might drizzle a little bit of butter on it just to kind of keep it nice and moist. And that would be one person's serving. This one has the butter and the maple syrup. So we could drizzle just a little bit of maple syrup on top of that to make it look really good and keep it moist. Now, some of these in the middle, these were in the brisket that I cooked. So you can see they soaked up a lot of the, the beef juice. So they look a little bit more on the brown side, but they taste amazing. Then we have our slices and then we have our baked butternut squash. Of all of these, and then of course, I went ahead and put the mashed butternut squash with the cheese in, in a bowl to serve that way because I have kids coming over and I just want to make sure it's easier and not a mess. So we have the, the cheesy butternut squash mashed potatoes. They're not really mashed potatoes, mashed squash. And then, so that would be my favorite. And then it's the roasted, and then it would be this piece here. So that's my favorites of all of these. Now remember, even though we are cooking these, we might lose some of the vitamin C. Some of the vitamin C is more bioavailable, but it's still less. But we also increase the bioavailability of the carotene, which I was gonna say carotenoids and that makes it so we can build our immune system. The antioxidants are still available. So don't negate cooking your vegetables if you just need something warm and comforting. These foods will satisfy. Thank you for letting me serve you God's recipe for excellent health. I'm here to teach you how to be confident in the kitchen, confident in your health, and most importantly, confident in understanding how much God loves you with an everlasting love. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. From the moment of conception, he has loved you. Thanks for watching and letting me serve you.